How's it going folks? Welcome back to Florida Homestead. The team over at All Powers was super generous and they were able to provide me with this All Powers portable battery bank. It also comes with an associated solar panel so you can charge it on the go. It's great for camping, it's great for around the homestead, around a farm, or even around your home. If you need power on the go, this thing is super lightweight. In my process of doing this review today, I lugged it all around the farm with me. I was able to operate a, a corded saw. I was able to operate a corded drill with pretty much simplicity as much as you're going to get with a regular outlet. I was able to do a lot of stuff around the farm in the process of reviewing this thing. It's really cool. It charges super fast. And I can't thank All Powers enough for giving me the opportunity to test this thing out. So without any further ado, guys, let's go ahead and dive in and see what it's all about. Let's get to it. So this is the All Powers R1500 Life P04 power station. And it was actually shipped to me with the SP033 solar panel. Now I don't believe that that comes standard, but you can always add it. And honestly, I can see why you'd want to because it would allow you to charge on the go. And the solar panel actually comes with a bunch of different hookups, one of which it could be used like to power or charge a laptop as well. So it kind of has that nice dual purpose functionality there. You can use the solar panel to ch charge your generator and then you can go ahead and unplug the generator, use it to charge your laptop or other devices while you're out camping or something of that nature. So the solar panel is a nice addition, but even without the solar panel, just charging it with the AC input, I was able to charge it. It came out of the box at about 77% battery. I plugged it into the wall. I walked away for five minutes. And when I came back, it was at like 91%. And I was really amazed by that. It was charging super quickly. So it has four different ways to charge. AC, solar, double AC plus solar. So you could do both at the same time or auto. Um, and honestly, they say that this thing can go through over 2000 charging cycles. So it's gonna last quite a long time. Now, in the past, when I've looked at some of these power stations, one of the hardest things to set up was the app that accompanies it. Um, in the past, I've had power stations where the instructions are not in English, and they actually had instructions that were not viable. They were untrue. I had to go ahead and look up online how to actually get to the modern version of the software or the current version of the software. Um, and I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off for 40 minutes before I could even get into the app. Uh, but with this All Powers R1500, it was really easy to get into it. There's a QR code that you just scan. Once you scan the QR code, it's very easy to turn on the Bluetooth on the power station itself. It was very easy to get into the settings on the app and go ahead and sync the two together. And it's really nice. You can enable or disable your AC or your DC outputs remotely from, the, uh, from your phone. You can see about how much battery you have left from your phone. And it has all those features that you'd kind of expect from a modern product such as this. Now, as far as what this thing can run, at first I tried plugging in like four different little appliances. So I had a waffle maker, I had a toaster oven, I had a blender all plugged in. I went ahead and turned them all on at the same time and it turned off. It did not like that amount of draw taking place at the same time. So I said, okay, okay, if that's a bit too much, you know, let's try a toaster plus charging my phone at the same time. It handled it no problem. Let's try, um, you know, the waffle maker plus charging my phone at the same time. It handled it no problem. So obviously that would simulate something like a camping experience where you would maybe want to use one small appliance at a time. Maybe you've got three people all charging their phone simultaneously Spontaneously in it, right? Maybe you've got somebody charging a laptop off of it plus one phone. It's gonna handle those kind of loans loads just fine. But if you try to run four appliances at the same time, you might run into a problem. So I had a couple of small projects that I needed done around the homestead this afternoon. One of which was to cut some boards for my wife. She's making some kind of a Christmas village, so she needed some boards cut. Another one of which where I needed to drive a few screws into my greenhouse just to tighten up and attach the base a little bit better. So I said, instead of using some of my battery powered cordless tools, why not drag out some of my corded tools? Let's use the corded saw, let's use the corded uh, drill, and let's see if the all powers power station can handle those 
those loads. And I can honestly say that it handled it quite well. I was able to make the cuts that I needed to make with the saw. I was able to get those screws in no problem using the corded drill. And one thing that was really nice is as I was moving around the greenhouse, cause I had, to, I had to put in screws on all different corners of the greenhouse. And as I was moving from corner to corner to corner to corner, I was dragging this power station around with me. And honestly, it wasn't heavy at all. I was carrying it with one hand. So it was really, really light. Um, and it wasn't bulky or cumbersome, kind of dragging it around just for the sake of making these shots for the video. It was really lightweight and it was really portable. I think that that's one of the biggest features of this thing is how portable it is. So like, and it's not very heavy. You could easily take it camping. Um, if you had some rural property that you were doing work on and it's not necessarily connected to utilities, uh, this thing would probably be invaluable for working on a property like that. Folks, with that being said, that's gonna conclude the video. I cannot thank All Powers enough for giving me an opportunity to try this thing out. It's cool, there's gonna be all kinds of links and all that stuff in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself. It's got the associated power panel. I mean, if you're any kind of like RV life, if you're any kind of uh, you know van life, going camping, doing anything on some real, real rural property where you wanna bring corded tools out with you, um, this thing's perfect. It's gonna be able to do all that for you. It even give you a little bit of security if you're worried about a power outage during something like a hurricane. Uh, it won't run your air conditioner, but it'll run little, uh, little appliances and stuff like that. So I think it's great. Big thumbs up from me. Thank you so much. Guys, God bless you. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, hey, it's Justin with Florida Homestead. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye, everyone.